see if we get a few people in here. I know it's late back home. Oh, it looks like somebody popped in. Oh, we got a few people. Good morning. Hello. I'm up late with you. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. Rochelle. Oh, we got a few of you popping in. Good afternoon. Figured we'd get some uh, Aussies in here. Oh yeah, quite a few of you. Amy Rodriguez, Virginia, Jamie, D, Stacy. Yeah, I figured I'd have a little bit of time because uh, currently waiting for Steve to check out of his out of, blah, 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 <laughs> to check out of his hotel room. How is the weather? The weather is like perfect right now. It's not too hot. Not cold at all. The breeze is actually nice. I'll show you guys in a second. <clears throat> Am I laying on the ground? No, it's actually just a wall. I'm sitting in a sitting in a chair. I know it probably looks like I'm lying down on the ground, but definitely not. It's cold in LA. Oh wow. Definitely not cold here. Wow, after midnight. For you. <laughs> Here it is uh, currently middle of the day. Um, this is my view right now. Pretty incredible, if you ask me. Currently in a place called Jufin, Taiwan. There's going to be a whole video on this place. But yeah, that's uh, this is where I am. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm literally just on a rooftop, just chilling. Waiting for Steve to get ready. Didn't really have much else to do, to be honest. Beautiful. It is. The weather is actually better today than it was yesterday. Yeah, it's really cool here because there's like a famous tea house, um, a famous old road, and it's just all steps that go down. Very, very uh, beautiful spot made in Taiwan. Absolutely. We got John from uh, Pittsburgh. Shout out to Pittsburgh. <laughs> Is it a hotel? It's like a... Um, it's like a bed and breakfast, but without the breakfast. So I booked it on Expedia. It was called, it's a place called Something Easy. Honestly, probably like, whoa, oh, damn wasps. <laughs> There's so many bugs up here. Um, but yeah, so we were looking for a place to stay because Steve really wanted to come out here. Totally worth it. Um, so what we did was we have an Airbnb in Taipei, left most of our stuff there, um, and then just basically brought bare essentials whatever we uh needed essentially came out here um booked two rooms which is funny um because the two rooms are quite literally separate buildings so it is considered a bed and breakfast i think i got the better one the better view because this building is probably like the third tallest building up here and it's got this cool rooftop patio so came up here chilled last night took a bit of a break because uh i'm just so tired been uh, doing a lot <clears throat> don't cart it all around yeah absolutely you know what um this place has a lot of steps <laughs> to get to your room so 
and even the room has a really really cool view you guys are gonna see everything um, in the video that we put together can't believe I literally filmed uh, probably an over probably over an hour of content just in this place like it's so beautiful so unique we experienced uh, some really really awesome things we literally had tea I'm not one for tea but we went to the famous tea house we actually went to two one of them we had dinner then we walked around some more then we went and had tea and desserts at uh, the famous spot to be honest I like the place where we had dinner better just like the vibe and the setting the second place was just basically tea <laughs> It's 4.20. Oh, it is 4.20. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, at the moment, I guess it's... Because uh, it is the 20th here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's also the 20th here, so that's good. <clears throat> you have been busy. Yeah, I've actually been, like, pretty well non-stop since uh, getting to Japan. Now we're here in Taiwan. We're heading to uh, Bali in a few days. Hmm. <sighs> Japan was awesome. I really liked it. If I go back, I want to do some something a little bit different. I kind of want to go to like some spots that are um, quieter, more like in the countryside. Um, but we'll see. I don't really know what the plan is as of yet. We'll see. We'll see if I end up going back there before uh, before I go home. I don't know yet. Did you buy some new shoes yet? I did. I had to. I kept the old ones just for like when we go to abandoned places I'll just wear those so that way I don't wreck the new ones right away. Come to Australia. I jokingly said that to Steve yesterday. I'm like, alright, off to Australia. I would like to come, but to be honest, just timing is not uh not good. How are your legs feeling after all that walking? They're pretty good. Not bad. We did quite a bit of walking yesterday too kind of do a lot of walking pretty much every night or every day sorry oh got someone playing some music but uh yeah those of you just popping in this is uh my current view so it's kind of funny let me show you guys this in a second um so I'm in this building, really tall. Also kind of sketchy because we're really high up and I don't like heights. Steve's room is literally down there. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's kind of like an Airbnb, but also kind of like a hotel room at the same time. So it's not really an Airbnb. I don't know. I think they're listed on Airbnb. How was your knife massage? It was really interesting um it like kind of worked i suppose oh i'm still a little bit stiff but stacy said i've been watching every video you've been doing from the first japan video to the resort video you just did did i do a resort video i'm not sure which one that is but there was a few of them that i've done <clears throat> but yeah the trip is not over yet we got a lot of stuff uh coming up a lot more film locations we're gonna do currently we're actually trying to do this uh abandoned hotel and it's supposed to be uh known as the most haunted hotel or haunted location rather in all of taiwan um so the other night i actually did a haunted hospital abandoned hospital all by myself because um, Steve's already done it and he had a bunch of stuff he had to take care of back at the uh, the house so he stayed behind I went and did it freaky place really really cool though um, but yeah so we're currently trying to do this hotel um, it was kind of funny because we went we took an, uh, an uber all the way to this abandoned uh, hotel and funny enough we actually got inside like it's very easy to get in there but we noticed, once we got inside, that there was this bright red light, so we assume there's cameras. And obviously, if there's a light, it's active, so we decided not to uh, 
wait and see what happens <laughs> if we get caught. Sorry if I'm lagging, guys. The, uh, the internet here is kind of in and out. <clears throat> Let me know how the, uh, the stream is. Let me know if we're still lagging. I mean, we are kind of, like, up in the mountains. So... I don't even know where the cell tower is. I'm kind of trying to look for it, but I don't see it. There's also something cool I'll show you guys in a second. There's two cool things. One, I don't know if we can see during the day. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, more about this hotel. Okay, a lot of guys, a lot of people are saying there's no lag. Internet is good. So yeah, so basically, um, we got to this hotel. Um, there was a man kind of walking through, spoke enough English that we can have a conversation because we were trying to figure out where the owner is of this property. And uh, he found a phone number. We were trying to call the phone number. It kept saying not in service. Then um, he said he thinks that the people who own that property also own the property across the street. So we kind of walked around for a little bit trying to figure out what to do because we couldn't get a hold of this person via number. So we went up to this other building and uh, we're just like, hello, hello, ni hao, <laughs> which is how you say hello in Mandarin. Um, no one was really answering. That building looked like it might have been part of the hotel, uh, but it had everything still in it. Like It looked kind of like the reception area. It was very odd, but looked abandoned. And the building was kind of falling apart itself too. So anyways, we wait around long enough. Eventually somebody comes outside and uh, we start talking to him. Dude doesn't speak a word of English. So now Steve is translating um, via Google Translate to tell him like, hey, we want to go and check out the building across the street. And uh, he's trying to figure out what to do. It's kind of, you know, obviously a language barrier. And um, I'm going to super chat here from Samantha Peace. Thank you. Love watching your travels. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so we're talking to this guy and he's like, okay, just wait. Uh, talk to the boss. Boss guy shows up. Now we're trying to explain to him what we want to do. Um, and he's not really giving us like an answer. So at some point, the other guy goes, uh, we'll let you go in. Obviously, you got to kind of plan it ahead of time. Um, but you got to bring somebody to accompany you who speaks Chinese. We're like, oh, crap. How are we going to do this? So we were trying to figure out if we can find somebody. And we think we might. Steve um, has a fan, I think, from the area who might come with us. So we're going to try and plan that out over the next couple days. But to be able to do the most haunted location in the entire country the entire island would be awesome so we're working on it <clears throat> but uh let me show you something that's really cool okay so first of all down there i don't know if you guys can see that there's an island apparently oh, a little too zoomed in but there's an island down there apparently you can actually go there i was going on google maps check this out too there's like a temple right there isn't that amazing? Just like nestled, kind of like up in the mountains. I don't even know how to get to it. Um, and there's another one, where is it? I think it's down there somewhere, you can't really see it. But at night when it's all lit up, you can see it. So cool. Got another super chat from Mike Lewis. Hi Angelo, love, I assume you meant love. Live your videos, thank you. But, uh, yeah. So now, I'm just kind of hanging out. Last night I was kind of hanging out up here. Um, hung out in, um, where are you at? I am in a place known as Jufin, Taiwan. It's right on the coast. Beautiful, the weather is perfect. But, uh, I think we're gonna go to an abandoned mine. There was a mine that Steve came to here, like, probably four or five years ago. And uh, he doesn't really know if it's still accessible. Um, so we're going to try and maybe get a drive from an Uber close to it. And then go and kind of check it out, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're up to so far. So I'm just waiting on him. He said he needed about uh, an hour. So it's been about 15 minutes. 
So I'm just hanging out here in my building. No one's coming to kick me out anytime soon. I checked out of my room, but yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out here. Because they wanted like, um, we could have done like a late checkout. Had I known, I probably would have done that. Um, but yeah, I already checked out. And then Steve woke up late, of course. <laughs> and he's like, crap, crap, I'm not even ready. And then he kept needing more time. So now I'm just chilling, but uh when are you coming back to the states i don't know i am uh currently aiming hang on i just got a photo of something hang on give me one okay sorry about that guys um yeah we probably connected for a second because i had to respond to a message um but yeah as far as the states goes i don't know yet um hopefully hopefully in june i'd like to but i honestly i don't even know when i'm going home yet to be honest so got a few more uh places that i want to do Okay. There we go. Australia first. I want to do Australia and New Zealand. Um, but when I do those, I want to make it like a whole separate trip. I don't want to like have to time crunch everything. I don't want to have to feel like I'm uh, in a hurry or in a rush. Like, trust me, doing 10 days in certain countries out here doesn't even feel long enough, really. The problem here, too, is that um, we can't rent a car because we need an international driver's permit. Some countries require those. Um, seems to be a, a thing <laughs> out here, but um, we're making do. We're doing uh, Ubers to um, certain film locations. It's actually pretty cheap, too. So, like, 30 bucks US, you can easily get an Uber, like, an hour away. <clears throat> Do you get homesick traveling? Uh, sometimes. <sighs> yeah, you'll need longer than 10 days to tour Australia. That's what I mean. Like, if I'm going to come to Australia, I feel like I need, what, like, three weeks minimum? Um, and then also obviously New Zealand and I'm pretty sure the weather if I'm not mistaken the weather is starting to switch because I know Australia is kind of opposite um, so I don't know but I'll have to plan that out later because uh, the issue is like out here I'm doing what um, ten, like we literally only have like four days left in Taiwan um, then we're going to do 10 nights in Bali, um, then probably two, three days in Singapore, um, and then I'm heading to Thailand, so that would be March 7th, sorry, April 7th, I'd probably get to, um, Thailand, I guess, and then from Thailand, I don't even know how long I'm going to stay there, um, yeah, and I kind of wanted to do, like, the Philippines. So I'm kind of trying to stay in, like, the general area of Asia. And then after that, I'll probably go home um, towards, like, beginning to middle of June. And then from there, we will see. I kind of want to do, like, a road trip in the U.S. Um, and then I think I might be going to Europe after, like, in July or August or something. So we'll see. Maybe I'll, if I do Australia, I think it might make more sense to do that, like, in November, December. Am I laying on the ground? No, I'm actually sitting in a chair. It's just up against this concrete wall. <laughs> it's getting cold. Yeah, see, like, why would I come to Australia when it's already getting cold? <laughs> I want the, uh, the heat, so... 
I gotta see what the uh, weather is like later on in the year, and then I'll probably do Australia, New Zealand, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> Are you going to do stuff with Mo and Jazz again? Um, yeah, probably. Once I get home. Man, my phone is getting so hot. Need international driver's permit for Australia. It's autumn here. Uh, what you call fall, summer is December, January, February. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So I figure like to come that way would probably make sense in like November, I guess, because that's like towards the end of your spring. Um, but yeah, I would definitely plan on getting the international driver's permit so that way we can actually, you know, rent a car and get around. <clears throat> Stacy, I'm going to head to bed. I'm glad I caught one of your lives. Hope you have a good day. You too. Or have a good sleep. Um, thank you for the traveling vids. I was feeling a bit uh, wanderlust lately. <laughs> yeah, trying to do a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, different stuff. You know, trying to get some travel type of content. Mix it up with uh, what we normally do. So. The haunted stuff out here is so interesting, though. Like, Taiwan, the way the belief system with the paranormal here, like, they're very scared of it. <laughs> I don't know if it's, like, just on a whole other level. It's the opposite in North America. Winter starts in November and December. Exactly. I feel like in Canada, winter kind of almost starts in October sometimes. Sometimes in October, it gets very cold back home. Like, when I traveled up to Pickle Lake, I mean, I got lucky because it wasn't that cold and the weather was okay. So, and that's another thing I want to do. I, I want to drive up to um, Pickle Lake again, but go further. And you can only do that drive during the winter once it's cold enough. So it would probably have to be, like, February um, in order to drive to a place called Fort Hope. So I just think that would be super interesting to uh, to to explore. Come to Ohio. I think Ohio was one of the last places I went to in the U.S. If I'm not mistaken. Well, the last trip I think was uh, New York State and um, Pittsburgh. Um, but the one before that, I think the last two or three trips before that was actually Ohio. <laughs> I did a lot of trips in Ohio. Uh, when are you posting a new video on the main channel? Um, hopefully tomorrow, I imagine. Well, I guess it wouldn't be. I'm trying to figure it out because I'm 12 hours ahead. Um, it's partially edited. Um, it's going to be an abandoned place um, with a crazy freaking backstory. Um, but yeah, so it needs to be, I need to finish editing it, which I'll probably do tonight. Um, and then once that's done, I'll render it out. doesn't take too long to render out. The problem is uploading here because, um, our Airbnb, for example, doesn't have its own, like, standalone Wi-Fi. You have something called pocket Wi-Fi, and sometimes it's extremely slow especially when the videos are like 40 to 50 gigabytes uh, in size. <clears throat> uh, Ohio isn't that far from uh, D. Oh, Canada. Yeah, no, we're about... Uh, <laughs> depends which side of Ohio you're going to, but I'd say probably about six hours, give or take. Beer fest at Hobbiton. I went to a beer fest in Japan. That was fun. You guys probably saw the vlog there. <clears throat> uh, enjoy traveling videos. I am a traveler myself. I've been London, Paris, Ireland. Enjoyed all countries. That is cool. That's one place I'd love to go to. I really want to go to Ireland. 
So back in uh, 2012, we actually hung out with a lot of Irish people. The reason why was because we were in Poland. Back then, I wasn't even filming anything. We just went for fun to go watch uh, soccer games or football, as some of you guys might say. Um, looking out in the ocean, it almost looks like there's a blimp like floating out in the water. <laughs> That's so funny, but I think it's actually just a ship. Yeah, it's definitely a ship. Um, but yeah, we went to... Uh... I'm getting some replies on Instagram. But yeah, we went to uh, Poznan, Poland back in 2012. Went to go watch a soccer game. Um, and it was Italy versus Republic of Ireland. So there was a bunch of Irish people all uh, chilling in the square and we just literally partied with them all night it was crazy 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 but uh, everyone was so nice Irish people are like some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life very friendly and damn do they ever love to party I live in Painesville, Ohio. I think I've been there before. Probably driven through. I've driven through like a lot of really random areas in Ohio and I don't really like remember them all. Can you do a feed up man? Oh my God. Can you do a fan meetup in Toronto? I'd like a picture. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's gonna be a little while till I get there, but Same with us Italians. Yeah, but no. <laughs> um, Irish people just party in a whole different way. <laughs> so when I went, it was it was funny because there was very very few Italians, and um, I mean we're Italian descent, so we were obviously supporting the Italian team who did end up winning the game, um, but we were the Italian fans were completely um overwhelmed by the irish fans it was crazy we got uh chris stops tv hello watching from the philippines hello might actually be uh making my way out there before uh before going home at some point hopefully Hopefully uh, Steve will be ready soon to go because he's got literally 20 minutes now before he's got to check out. <laughs> it's funny too, if you do like a late checkout here, they really don't ask for much. I think they wanted like a thousand Thai dollars, um, which is like 30, $33, something like that, US. Not too bad. I'd say that's probably cheaper than in the States. But this is like a really, really nice spot. I mean, I would hope so. It was a little, little bit on the pricey side, but I loved Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. We were supposed to go back for a month to celebrate our 35th. Uh, the pandemic ruined that. So we are gonna go for our 45th for sure. Nice. What am I doing today? Um, currently, I am just sitting on this rooftop. <laughs> out over the ocean uh, enjoying the weather waiting for Steve um, he is in his room which is like a completely separate building from where I am and uh, and then I think we're going to some abandoned mine I guess if we're up to it I think it's a bit of a hike um, probably gonna drive as close as we can and then hike from there so we'll see and then head back to Taipei basically looks beautiful it is very beautiful I guess uh, some of you guys are probably popping in so I'll show you guys the uh, the view here oh, it's so nice and warm in the Sun yeah there's like an island out there there's a temple down there a bunch of buildings here that's uh so there's a building right there they told us to go um, so we might do that maybe for like a quick lunch it's uh, known as like a sweet soup place, and the uh, the manager here at the B and B actually recommended it, and she said it's amazing. So we might actually try that. Yesterday we actually went to the famous tea house. Never done anything like that before, but it was like 
traditional style uh, Chinese tea. Um, and there's like this whole complex method of how they actually like get the tea ready. <laughs> so he tried to show it to us. We did our best to remember the uh, process. Um, then what else did we do? They served us desserts. Before that, we were just kind of like roaming around. Very, very beautiful place to come at night uh, specifically because once they turn on all the lights, there's all like the uh, Chinese lanterns that go up and down the uh, steps or roads. Old Jufin Street, essentially. Um, but yeah, so we were down there. Filmed a whole bunch of stuff. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, now we're just kind of chilling. Just waiting. Ray says, America. <laughs> yep, shout out to America. Uh, why did I see you? Huh? Okay. Yep, somebody's getting the block. Got him. <laughs> see you later. I love how you always end up getting like these uh, shit disturbers in lives. <clears throat> I beat you to it. I just happened to notice it, so I'm like, <laughs> might as well uh, take care of it. I figured you'd get to it eventually. Haters? I don't even know if they're haters. They're just like these weird ass people that make weird comments. Um that don't quite make sense. I'm not even going to repeat it because it was disgusting. Um, but yeah, I don't, they're, they're literally just trolls. Like they're not even haters. Scammers, spammers, and idiots everywhere. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Hello from Puerto Rico. Love you American guys. I'm actually not American. Um, I'm Canadian. I just bought this shirt a long time ago for like four dollars at a thrift store and it's been my favorite shirt ever since it's really comfy and it looks cool troublemakers trying to hit a nerve nah i know what they're doing they're just fucking weird ass people that's all like don't you feel embarrassed even typing something like that I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Looks comfy. This chair is really uncomfortable, not gonna lie. But, and no, I'm not lying down on the floor. What is up, my guy? Not much. Just uh, currently sitting on a rooftop patio thingy, waiting for uh, Steve Ronan to get his butt ready so we can uh, start doing some stuff. <clears throat> really been loving your videos. Thank you. Been uh, very much enjoying creating the videos. Uh, let's see what time it is. I mean, he's got to be out of there shortly, so... Damn, this phone is so hot. <laughs> I'm killing my battery. I don't want to kill the battery too much. Um, but yeah. Right now we're just kind of relaxing. The food is going to be amazing. It is. Seeing all, <laughs> So jealous seeing all those cherry blossoms in your videos. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, I was glad I went at the time that I did because um, we caught basically the first bloom of the cherry blossoms. Same thing we got uh, four years ago as well. It does look like you're laying down. I am definitely not. <laughs> I'm literally sitting in a chair. It's like one of these, these really annoying uncomfortable they look cool <laughs> but they're not very comfortable at all all right guys um yeah i'm going to um head out because uh 
got to get ready to head to this abandoned mine. I figured I'd just pop in and uh, check in with you guys. And honestly, my phone is getting like super hot, but um, probably because it is really hot here. And it's kind of funny too, because we're up in the mountains and uh, it's still very warm. So it's probably going to be really hot once we get back to Taipei. Oh, look at that. See, I told you we got more trolls. You block one, four more show up. Nice try, though. Drink beer for me or tea for me. <laughs> yeah, we had tea last night. All right, guys, I am going to head off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do have time for another live before we head to Bali, um, but I will try. Um, I know this was kind of like a weird time just because it's middle of the day here, but like 12.30 at night back home. Um, but I mean, there's so many of you guys from all over the world, so a bunch of you guys uh, managed to pop in, which is uh, really good. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, see where Steve's at and uh, we're gonna hit the road, guys, and film some cool stuff, so. Thanks for coming by. Love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.